my mine in total prep time and cooking time might be 15 minutes. But as I told you before, when we were first, you know, talking to everyone about what we're doing, <laughs> I know I do that all the time. I screwed it too fast. Oops. Once again, I, I found this flavor at one of my favorite stores. One day, if you know, if uh, the HT traders decide they want to sponsor us, I'll give them props. So you were out trading one day. Trading. I was yeah. out trading one day, and we found this poppy seed they had on sale. And I always tell folks, once again, all that a marinade really is is flavored oil and acid. That's all it is. This one happened to be poppy seed and mandarin orange. So we've got our nice color and our poppy That's seeds. Nice. And no, it is not true that if you eat a poppy seed muffin, you'll test with opiates. That's just not true. Okay. Hmm. Most now, meanwhile. Yeah, because they're worried about that. The folks okay. are. A lot of folks Six. always ask, how long should I marinate meat? How long should I marinate right. poultry? How long should I marinate fish? Number one, anyone thinking about marinating meat overnight, is there's no reason for it. Really? Usually per pound, I'd say about 30 to 40 minutes per pound on meat. Okay. okay. Over time, it'll actually start to turn the meat gray. If you've ever marinated like flank steak overnight, right. you cook it, it's kind of brown, even though you only put it on a little while, especially right. with the meat, you don't really want that. Okay. Poultry, I'm going to say no longer than 30 minutes to an hour. Seafood, like our fresh salmon that we have here, tops 15 minutes. Usually, huh. it's sufficient enough just to put it just like this, because you want to... Just wanna, to kind of coat it. Just right? to kind of coat it. Why? Fish or seafood is actually a lot more fragile. So yeah, so it'll, it'll break down a lot faster. A than lot, right? especially since okay. it has acid in it. So okay. you're right. And what we'll end up with, if you start marinating too long, is ceviche. And that's something we'll actually talk about later on. Okay. So if you want a ceviche, then you can marinate you it can for a while. Right. Then, then you do want to marinate it for a while. So we actually have it in our marinade. So we'll hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> that's a plug for the show, salt and pepper. Or, and more mess for me to clean exactly. up. Now notice yeah. I'm salting way up here. Yes, I noticed that. Well, Again, to mess up your he has people to clean up after him. <laughs> I, I have, have people me. I can call on. So meanwhile, we're going to sit this off to the side because it's doing this thing. Brian's fish is out there cooking. And then the other part that goes with this dish, I'm going to wash my hands because there, there are a lot of folks who are always watching, wondering about our sanitation. You can actually see us watching. So are you, you're going to grill this, right? Oh, well, we're going to grill it. Okay. And actually, we're going to show two different types of grilling methods. Number one, we're going to do it with what we call flesh side down, okay? Mm -hmm. Where the first part that goes down, as he cheats over here and look, takes a look, this is where we're going to put our first grill marks. The other way is we're going to put skin side down. Mm -hmm. And when we taste it later on, you're going to have two completely different tastes. Because we have all that fat where that skin is, it renders off, you put that down first, right. you get a much more pronounced charred grill flavor versus a more subtle one. If the fat is down first. Exactly, the fat okay. is down first. So we'll let you pick which one you like better. Huh. Okay. Right. Now meanwhile, in one of our other episodes, Brother Brian, where we're doing the relishes and the condiments, we right. made this salad kind of a slaughter. Remember it had the yes. mandarin oranges and oh, the cilantro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's all we're going to do right now. Okay. We're just going to take some cilantro. Once again, you know, th there is no middle ground right. cilantro. Do I a rough like chop it. there, huh? Yep. Quick chop. Because we're actually turning this into like a salad. So we're going to take okay. our cilantro. And yes, it has been washed. If anyone was like, oh, he used it. He didn't even wash it. Yes, we washed it. But you don't have to wash it, eh? Well, to me, you don't. God right. made dirt <laughs> and dirt won't hurt. I mean, that's what that's I grew right. up saying. Well, it just builds your immune system. That's, that's all I'm saying. Meanwhile... We're taking our scallions or our green onions. We are cutting them on what we call the bias. Uh -huh. so it's just at an angle. So then, then you do that for looks? Yeah, more for looks. Yeah, okay. that's, that's really all it is. It's a fancy schmancy way. Now, we had our regular... No, that's, this orange. is interesting. I'm going to interrupt you. Okay. Most people use the white parts and chop those up, put ah. those in things. You're using I'm only using the, the ends, part. the green parts I mean, that most it's, people it's, just it's, throw it's away. It's all good. No, because later on, what we're also going to do here, since you're looking at it, I'm going to trim the ends off. And just like you used a plank to kind of flavor mm -hmm. your salmon, I'm actually going to put the grilled scallions, the bottom parts, the white part, which is sturdier, uh -huh. I'm actually going to coat it with oil. We're going to actually grill it off with the salmon. Oh, fantastic. So as of right now, we will actually take it. You're going to marinate yeah, that? Not oh, you just, flavor. you got to put there and look, make it look fancy, fancy while it's fancy. marinating. That's all. Good fancy Lord. <laughs> so now we're going to add our mandarin oranges with the syrup and the juice. Okay. And that's not as much, because we're making a salad, we're not adding as much sauce or uh, juice as we did with the mar exactly, with the Exactly, uh, because it's going to be on the top. And okay. As it sits there, it's definitely going to, you know, break down anyway. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. A little. Salt and pepper again. Yeah. All over my floor. All over my <laughs> You have people too that just look right. Yeah, yeah. Little they people. do really good. We're going to add a little red onion this time. Okay. We're going to go with a fine julienne. Oh, that's really, 
I don't know if you can see that, you just get them really thin. Okay, let's just talk about that. that on there. Okay. Look at how thin that is. If it was thicker or longer, longer? I can see through it. There. <laughs> so we got those in here. Now, let's grab a little red wine vinegar. All right. Just a drop. Just a drop? Just a drop. And we're going to use just some of your vegetable oil. Okay. Not much. Now, of course, folks are saying you could just cheat and just add a little bit of this. We really just want a light little salad. Okay. And that's all. If you want to, you can put a little red on your board. So this is all going to be dressing on top of the on salmon. On top of the you. salmon. So okay. now, right now, let's have it on now. I think yours. Because now we have to do what we call oiling down our grill. Yeah, just throw that down there. There you go. So I'm just going to take some oil, pour it on a rag. And you're doing that because the fish is very delicate, so we don't want it to stick, right? Well, that's, that's, that's part of the reason. But what we're also doing, too, is that the oil also helps conduct the heat. So it's actually going to make these make this uh, the metal a lot hotter. Okay. Which is what we need. We need it to be very, very hot so it won't stick. Now, if all goes right, it won't stick. <laughs> if all goes right. We're going to go one, the skin side now. Now, we start at an angle. Mm -hmm. Now, then we're going to go with the flesh side down first. Okay. And just like yours, let's close her on up. Now, how long do you let that cook? How long should it take to cook? Now, you know, in a Judgment. professional place, it depends on how hot your grill gets. Mm -hmm. If we were able to get, you know, a lot of flame popping up, for our salmon fillets that thick, maybe total cooking time five minutes, maybe two okay. and a half minutes per side. Okay. If you like for if you like your salmon medium to medium well. Otherwise, you can get the nice grill marks, and you can just take it, put it right in your oven, finish it up, but you'll still have oh, that okay. great grill flavor. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. so now we're just going to open up our grill. We've got our heat built up in there now. We notice the only reason I knew that it was ready for us to, to start to turn this is because I can start to see the smoke come out the side. Now in the restaurant, we would actually, to get those beautiful marks, those nice uh, squares, we would actually take it from 45 degrees, rotate it 90 degrees, and we got it. Those two of our scallions that we had, we were throwing them on. I'm going to set those up here on this plank. Notice, salmon's almost ready, but now we're going to try. There we go. Come on. There we go. Uh-oh, maybe if we have it. All right, we still end up with a little sticky here. Here, do you need to... Uh, That's what to say. Let me use the... Uh, there we go. That. There you go. That's All what right, you're looking so now, for. There we go. Now we're getting the, the flame that we want. Right. So now we're going to flip okay. it over. Now Get some crackling. Our skin, our skin tore a little bit, but that's actually what we want to go for here. We're going to try. One of the reasons this is sticking a little bit more, too, is because we actually have sugars. It's out of our marination. Oh, it's all in the marination. Okay. That's all right. Flip it over. It all tastes the same. What we're going to do, though, is the last little bit of marinade that's left on the plate, we're going to pour it over the top. Uh, Mine is uh, is ready. If we can get okay. it from sticking, that's all part of the grill. It might, might be better because I never put the oil on there. So if someone normally puts the oil on there, that's going to help cure it a little bit oh, yeah. better. And so it's not going to stick as well. Well, I wasn't going to say it, but, but that's absolutely right. Yeah. But that's okay. But I normally cook my fish on a on a plank, so I don't have to worry about that. There you go. Yes, <laughs> that's way to go. Also, number three that I want folks to see is that the fish that we have here, you know, we talked about carryover cooking. Yeah. So I've only cooked the fish to about medium, medium well. Mm -hmm. right there. Because as it sits there, the fish is continuing to cook. Okay. Well, yeah. Hold hours off. Some skin up, some skin down, beautiful crackling skin. And you know me, fat boy here has to eat a little bit. Well, not so fat boy has to eat too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's hot, <laughs> but it's very, very tasty. <laughs> and now summertime, our mandarin orange salad. Right. And we're done, and I'm gonna let you pull yours off, Brother B. Just take our juice here. 